Hello ladies and gents, this is Ozanine speaking, bringing you a video of AMD's real live recorder. And if you guys haven't exactly seen my previous videos of, about the real live recorder, I did mention that uh, the old real live drivers, or the very first ones, 16.1 uh, and 16.2, were an absolute mess. They were just incredibly annoying, you know? Basically, the only single issue about uh, the previous real life drivers were basically that every time I tried to overclock my GPU, it would basically just lock up the memory clocks to about 150 megahertz, which made every single game I tried to play incredibly unplayable. You know, frame rates were just at like four frames per second, just because of that memory lock issue. Anyway, with that, with all the negativity, you know, out of the window and vented out, uh, so far. From what I've noticed, uh, AMD's Relive 17.1.1 driver is extremely perfect. You know, I don't have any issues with it. I don't have any memory locking issues when I try to overclock. So far, you know, so at the at the very moment, I'm still waiting for the for the memory locks to come back. I'm hoping it doesn't. You know, but uh, so far, I haven't had any issues with the memory locks and stuff, and. As you can see here, Real Live is working pretty damn good. Uh, the quality isn't as good as my Elgato, which is a Kopchi card. So, you know, it's not as good, but hey, it's it's not exactly bad either. Uh, the, my Real Life settings are basically 1080p and 40, I think it was 40,000 uh, bit rate or something like that. And uh, I think the sound is at 192 kilobytes per second. And, uh, and of course, just so you know, I'm actually uh, storing all my videos on a separate hard drive from my game. Uh, so basically, that what that does is basically just gets rid of any sort of performance hiccups when recording. So that's also something to look at. And um, if you guys have or, or plan to record with the Relive drivers, I recommend you actually have a separate hard drive for storing videos. So you know just so that performance doesn't, you know, fuck you up in the ass or something like that. Anyway, um, as you can see here, Battlefield 4 is obviously being used to test the, you know, the real live recorder. And, um, as you can see here, the frame rate is absolutely solid and, uh, super good. Uh, the settings you see here in Battlefield 4 aren't exactly on Ultra, just because of the, um, because, like, you know, sometimes Ultra settings sort of, you know, mess me up in terms of visual... Uh, clarity and stuff because you know all those like particle effects and special post-processing effects are just extremely annoying sometimes when I'm playing uh, Battlefield 4 so I, I decided to turn off certain settings just so I could see clearly but and, um, overall the game is pretty much close to ultra you know I mean HBAO plus is enabled which I should probably turn off because it really darkens the the scenery um, of course uh, anti-aliasing is also enabled uh, which is good, I guess. You don't want aliasing to occur when you're playing Battlefield, especially. Uh, anyway, overall, Real Live is just good. It's it's super good. Like it's it's a good recorder. It's a good um, what's the word? It's a good uh, competition, I guess, for the for Nvidia's Shadow Play, which is uh, which was which is known to be amazing as well. Um, so yeah. So guys, that's basically all I gotta say here. Bottom line is, AMD's real live recorder is no joke. It's pretty damn good, you know? Now of course, you guys just have to remember that when if you guys wanna record with real live, I really recommend you to record on a separate hard drive just so that it doesn't mess up your frame rate, you know? That's a big recommendation for me, you know? Uh, so anyway, what are your thoughts on real life? You know, does the quality look good? Oh, and, and by the way, I'm, I'm actually upscaling this video at uh, 4K just so you guys could see it a little bit better, you know? So that's also something to keep in mind. So the source uh, the source file is 1080p, but the final uh, video file that I rendered and uploaded to YouTube is actually just uh, an upscaled footage of the 1080p video at 4K. So that's something to consider and think about. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to end this video and... Uh, you know, say goodbye. I'll see you guys in the next video, uh, which will most likely be about the PS4 and things I like and things I don't like about it. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, 
You guys have a good time. Enjoy yourselves and make sure to go to the gym and lift some weights. Make sure that's heavy weights so you guys can get big and strong and shit like that. Anyway, uh, this is Ozanine saying goodbye.